Hi everyone, welcome back to For the Love of Dogs with Yana. Meet Masa. She is my mom and my grandmother's dog. She's a chihuahua. She's a year and a half and uh, today's episode features Masa and I'm going to talk about uh, some of the things, you know, of why I got the dog for my mom and my grandmother. So almost two years ago, my grandmother had a stroke and it was a very terrifying experience as well as very stressful for everyone in the family. And uh, you know, when people are facing medical problems and they're not feeling well, there's so many emotions going on, they're physically, emotionally not feeling well. And um, some of the things that, you know, that people do is listen to music, maybe they can go for um, walks in the nature sometimes you know there's so many different things that people use to to deal with stress and to make themselves feel better um having a major medical issue definitely has its setbacks and um with that being said uh, my way to help my family cope with everything that you know happened um, i thought about how happy i am with my three dogs and um, i thought that you know having a little one in their household uh, running around barking and uh, it would be something wonderful and it sure did turn out that way so i bought masha masa about a year ago and uh, she was uh, only a couple of months old she was about four or five months old uh, very little dog she was only about five pounds i think she's about 10 or 11 right now and uh for sure i can say that you know of course this is not a, any kind of medical advice but i'm talking from my own experiences it definitely brought a lot of light a lot of happiness, a lot of joy into the home of my mom and my grandmother. So um, this little one is uh, low maintenance. Um, you know, the reason that I got them a little dog, of course, is convenience. Um, she doesn't take up a lot of space. It's very easy to take care of her. And uh, just like I always talk about in my other videos, you know, you do have to have a routine with your dog. This is not a stuffed animal. This is a live creature. And uh, you definitely have to have um, you definitely have to have good routines, you definitely have to have uh, resources to make sure that they're happy and they're healthy. So she's a young puppy and uh, thank God, you know, all her medical doctor's appointments and all her routines um, and vaccines are all up to date. You know, we don't have any issues with her. So my mom has been very good about raising her, uh, but I will say that yes, she does spoil her with some human treats. And that's okay. And um, the reason that I'm having her over is uh, my mom was telling me that, you know, she wasn't eating so well for the couple of days. So I just brought her over and she's Lord's best friend. So it's uh, it was over the weekend. I just wanted to see what this was all about. Um, Lord and Marcia are best friends. Akiba and Christina are a bonded pair. So Akiba doesn't really care for Marcia that much. She always tries to be the alpha and boss her around. Uh, Christina is a very tolerant puppy. You know, she, she doesn't really care to play with Marcia. But Lord and Marcia, they are having a lot of fun together in this past couple of days. Their walks have been very amazing. Um, so I basically implemented the same routines with this little dog that I implement with my dogs. They do get a walk around 4.30 in the morning and after that they're fed and then they get another walk around 7. And uh, then they get another walk when everyone comes back from school and from work. And they, they get another walk or two in the evening, maybe 7 and 10 p.m. So uh, since I've been having her in my house, um, I do have a wee-wee pad on the floor. Uh, she does because of the size of the dog. She has a tiny little bladder. Occasionally she does urinate um, on the wee-wee pad, but most of her business, you know, she definitely pulls and pees outside. What's the matter, little one? Are you all right? So uh, we fix that. And uh, I was observing her um, meal uh, routines, and uh, she eats the same dog food that I give to my dogs, and she's been eating fine. I've been giving her um, the Blue Buffalo <coughs> Merrick uh, canned wet food, and she does get a cereal um, as well throughout the day. So no problems with her. I do give her treats. I try to spoil her a little bit just to make her feel right at home. Um, hi, guys. What are you guys up to here? What are you guys doing? Lord, where's your toy? Lord, where's your toy? Where's 
So as I was saying, I just observed her, so I'm happy to report to my mom when they do bring her back today um, that everything is okay with her puppy. It's just all about routines. Um, she used to go out a couple of times with my mom. It wasn't really structured, so that's the goal of the game. Hey, Lord. Sit. Lord. Sit. Sit down. Sit down. Good boy. So I'm definitely going to encourage my mom to definitely give her a walk in the morning and in the evening. And yes, that's fine. She used to go out for a couple of hours with my grandmother. That should still be, you know, ongoing as it was implemented previously. So I'm going to report to my mom that her puppy is doing just well with us here. And um, yeah, that's the video. You know, that's what I'm talking about here. Um, just having some good routines with your dog, having dog um, treats, having dog toys so they don't get bored. Um, whenever I had to leave the house, you know, I left her. She didn't have any dog uh, separation anxiety. She didn't cry or anything like that. So those are the things that you have to keep in mind as a dog owner. You know, you have to plan. You have a dog. It's just like a family member. You have to have different means to keep them happy, healthy, and occupied when you're not home. So thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you guys back. I'm going to record some more interesting things. Maybe I'll do like a walk or something like that. And thank you so much for watching. And uh, yes, Masi is new to this channel. And uh, I'm glad you guys came over and watched this video, okay? Thanks a lot. Till next time. Bye.